we're moving from an area where digital marketing is just one other area of marketing uh, to a world where we are marketing in a digital world. What I'm excited about is th this, this migration away from just attention to actually providing technology to help make better decisions. The problem with that is marketers are not there yet. Most marketers are still operating like it's 1970. Big data is there. It's like electricity. The reality is now we need to know what to do with it. We're going to talk about now about what the CEO and the CMO imperative is and how technology is coming together to make that happen. As a brand, you need to be wherever that customer comes to you, whether they do it through their mobile device, whether they do it through a social channel, whether they do it online, whether they walk into your store. Mm -hmm. You need to be there. You need to understand who that customer is, what they like, what they don't like, what, what irritates them, what they've purchased before. And you need to nip that into a journey across every mm -hmm. single touch point. You're going to find that the communications arm will become as strategic as your finance and your legal arm in your companies. Data uh, is only good if you can act on it immediately, as you point out. Absolutely. Uh, where, where are we really in this shift? Yeah, I, I think we're further along than most people actually would anticipate. Uh, I think Europe is not yet, and I think Japan is not quite there yet. Uh, we are seeing uh, things, we're seeing real innovation happening in the US and China. There are many CMOs who are still just about managing creative campaigns and agencies and delegating all these decisions to third parties, which is a suicide mission. You're constantly experimenting, constantly iterati iterating, constantly trying new things. And you need to be able to have that visibility and transparency to see what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. Smart connected devices with the cost of actuators and sensors and microprocessors dropping to where they're dropping, they will be embedded in almost everything. Mm -hmm. All that data is coming at a company, not just the marketer, who has to understand and begin to decipher, how am I going to use this? How am I going to connect? And where is it going to come from? This is a struggle the CEO has, it's a struggle the CFO has, certainly the CMO has it. One needs to change at the CEO level and maybe the CFO as well, to make the CMO you know, the second most important person, if not the, you know, kind of one of the key people in the organization. It's so interconnected. The best customer marketing is great customer service, and the best customer service is great marketing. Content and story is still important, no matter what form it's in and no matter who creates it. It's going to disrupt the roles and functions of the C-suite in the company, not just the CMO. It's going to be the CMO, the CTO, the CIO, and the CEO. And I think you're going to see the roles and responsibilities shift, the acumen necessary to run those businesses in this new world where uh, everything is going to be connected in your world. It's going to be smart and intelligent, I think, um, is going to really, again, change the whole dynamic in a company. It's going to disrupt it. And I think you're, oh, we're only at the very beginning of that Absolutely. cycle. The opportunity for marketing to step up the game and not, take, not be in the back seat anymore, embrace the technology, be curious. I think it's a really great way to get involved and start to think in a P&L, linking uh, and connecting, ultimately bridging marketing and finance. I think it, uh, ultimately that's where the power is. Yes, you sure. may feel behind, but get started. <laughs> start the, the connection, start the data, start. It's not too late.